Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Ah. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entry. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room.
I adore the hamlets near the coast. They're a bit damp, but ever so picturesque. People in the hamlets? Well, when goblins aren't lurking around every corner, can't be good for business. I should like to retire to a small house. <laughs> just like Brockborough. I adore shopping in Hogsmeade after it snowed. It's so... Revelio. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> 
At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little half. <sighs> Do we really need to practice flying on a broomstick? I thought that was the purpose of trains. Wouldn't it be romantic to fly amongst the stars? Even Professor Shaw might think so. Or not. Broomsticks are so This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. The best way to learn how to fly a broomstick is by trial and error. In my case, it, it, it was a lot of error. Imelda Mears is always arranging broom trials. She's only trying to top her old records. <laughs>
morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us... S... O-W-L's? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Revelio. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall.
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost any Castle quickly from Central Hall. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Something happening here. It's the heart of the hall. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create a dish. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those... Rebellion.